During the massive attack on Ukrainian infrastructure by Russian Geran-2 or Shahed Kamikaze drones on July the 31st, at least five drones flew into Belarus. The Belaruski Gayan Monitoring Group reported on this. It is reported that the first of the kamikaze drones entered the airspace of Belarus near the village of Asa Revishi. Belarusian Air Force fighter scrambled off from the Baron of Vichy Air Base and flew for more than an hour throughout southeastern Belarus near the border. The fighter was spotted near Rishitsia, Gomel and other settlements in the border area with Ukraine. This indicates that the aircraft was intensively searching for targets and was not just raised for reconnaissance but also for targeted detection and possible drone interception. It stayed in the south of the country for less than two hours, but even after it returned to the airfield, the Geran-2 drones continued to enter Belarus. Other kamikaze drones invaded the airspace of Belarus near the village of Loyu, Asarevishi and Korov. After entering the airspace, most of the drones immediately went deeper into the Poleski State Radiation Ecological Reserve and then back to Ukraine, but one flew over 260 kilometers across Belarus as far as the city of Stolin in the Brest region. In July, Militani twice reported cases of Russian kamikaze drones entering Belarusian airspace. On July the 13th, it was reported that one of the Russian drones flew from the territory of Ukraine to Belarus and flew more than 350 kilometers over four regions of the neighboring country and approached Minsk. On July the 17th, it was reported that the Shahed drone fell between the village of Parichi and the agricultural town of Lyuban in the Gomel region, 55 kilometers from the city of Bobruisk and 120 kilometers from the border with Ukraine. A prisoner exchange involving at least 26 people has taken place between Russia and the United States in what is expected to be the largest swap in recent years. Wall Street Journal reporter Evan Gershkovich and former U.S. Marine Paul Whelan are reportedly among those released. Gershkovich and Whelan have both been accused of espionage by Russian authorities, a charge they and the U.S. government have consistently denied. The historic prisoner exchange was coordinated by Turkish National Intelligence Organization, MIT, and took place at Ankara Airport, Turkish media reported. A Russian government plane landed in Ankara on Thursday, Reuters reported, shortly after MIT's announcement. A video released by Turkish NTV channel showed one of two aircraft of the Special Flight Squad, Russia, 2-204-300, which landed at Esenboga Airport in Turkey. CBS reported that among the released prisoners is Russian-American radio journalist Alsu Kermashiva, who was detained in June 2023 on charges of spreading false information about the Russian army. No government officials in